In this video, I will teach you how to use GameGuardian for all Android devices. This will not work for iOS. Download and install GameGuardian. There will be two Game Guardian that will appear. The difference between the two is that the one is for hardware and the other one is for software. You will see it in the app icon. There is an S and H in there. S is for software and H is for hardware. Always use the S one if you're using it on applications. Now open it. Here in the install mode, you need to install two GameGuardian, the 32-bit and the 64-bit because sometimes a software runs in a 32-bit or 64-bit system. In my case, the 64-bit is not working so I'll use default. You can also use default for 64-bit software. Allow installation from GameGuardian. Open the installer again. Install the 32 bit now. After the installation of 2 GameGuardian, uninstall the installer. In rooted devices, choose root but if your phone is not rooted, just close it. Also, if you have root access, you can now use GameGuardian. You'll see this pop-up if your phone is not rooted. There are also some bug in some virtual spaces that appears like this. My phone is not rooted so I will just close this. I'll just group this cause I don't want a mess. Now if you don't have a root access, you need a virtual space. This is the virtual space I'm using which is DualSpace. I will leave the link of this and the other virtual spaces below. This has an extension for 32-bit. Open your virtual space. Since I will not use these apps, I'll just remove it.
Add the two Game Guardian. Also add your game. This bid life is a 32 bit because it is modded so I will also open the 32 bit game guardian which has an icon of 32. Select the game in the process. And you can now use Game Guardian for non-rooted devices.